I've known Gail since the late 1980s. Gail, I still think, was without question one of the most visible, most active mayors that the city of St. Louis Park has ever had. It was immediately apparent that she wanted to take the city in a very progressive direction and uh, work very hard to do a, a visioning process. And a lot of what we did in the 1990s has now come to fruition. And it's because Gail was so good at public process and engaging people and getting them involved in the process, listening to what they wanted, and then acting on that. How do we put in place not only the substantive pieces, but the process pieces? How do you come up with a decision-making model? Gail was, she was instrumental in that. I mean, without her, I don't know that we would have uh, I, I frankly don't know that we would have developed the same way. I don't think without her we would have, we'd be where we are. It's hard to express, I think, how important Gail has been to this movement to prevent and end homelessness in our community. I mean, she didn't just support it, she championed it. And she didn't just champion it from the 24th floor. She came down into the trenches, into the shelters, onto the streets, talking to people, um, really listening to people. I think that people experiencing homelessness have really felt like they have a voice here on the county board, which is pretty amazing. And she's been the voice that's really been, I think, giving us a lot of hope that preventing and ending homelessness is possible. We know how to do it, and it just takes the political will and, and to make it happen. And, and that's what she's been doing um, for all these years. Gail has been our preeminent champion for mental health issues. She understood what it meant to families that had a mentally ill child, to adults with serious mental illness who had family members concerned about their needs. That compassion, along with her knowledge of how the system worked, how the financing worked, how the rules worked, really made her valuable in trying to champion some of the policy changes we needed to make. Gail was really the political leader that stepped forward in the children's mental health arena and brought all the partners to the table and helped develop agreements to move forward. So I have a hard time seeing that we would have as big a presence in our school systems and providing mental health services to thousands of children without Gail's leadership. When she said she was leaving, I, I actually thought back to a day on the Midtown Greenway. We were doing one of our Arbor Day plantings first weekend in May, it was snowing, but we were all out there planting away. And you know, she's been such a supporter of uh, the Midtown Greenway and biking and pedestrian improvements and all that. So she's always been a good spirit on that and, and a great colleague and really changing the way we think about transportation. I think her legacy uh, will be in one, fighting homelessness. No question about that. Number two, getting the county actively involved in providing housing opportunities for low-income people. And the third is going to be Southwest LRT. Ten years from now, we think about Gail Dorfman and her time on the board. One of the things that people are going to be able to point out is the Southwest LRT line. It wouldn't have happened without her. But I just think, you know, who's going to be out there in the snow with me next time we have a May Day when it snows? <laughs> We've been friends for so long, and our families have have been friends, we've done things together. I, I, I'll, I'll miss your voice on the, on the county board, but as I said before, I know you're gonna be involved. I hope you're gonna be involved in the, in the city. Um, I, I really and truly wish you the very, very best in all of your future endeavors, and I know we'll stay in touch. Gail, thank you for your many years of work for people experiencing homelessness in our community. And for those of us who work on this every day, we are so grateful that we don't have to say goodbye to you. Um, that you are coming to work full-time on this with us, and together we will be successful. So, see you at work. Gail, I think I can say this on behalf of all of our staff. Thank you for your dedication, for your hard work, and your support of all our work. You've helped all of us provide high quality and effective services to the residents of our county. You've helped us build stronger partnerships with other branches of government, with service providers, with advocacy organizations, and most importantly, with the residents we're charged to serve. I wish you the best of luck in your new endeavor. I'm confident you'll do great work. Your knowledge of policy and practice, your ability to lead, your passion for doing the right thing, I know you'll do great work. Congratulations, thank you, and good luck. Well, Gail, we'll see you on the Southwest LRT line, or riding a bike on the Midtown Greenway, or doing your great work uh, in fighting homelessness. We're gonna miss you down here. We'll see you soon. <laughs>